Hello everyone, equipment the war here, and welcome to my build guide for my lightning arrow ranger. I'm gonna start by showing off my passive skill tree and gear and what skill and gems I'm using. And after that, I'm going to show off this build in a pretty high level map. So let's get started by taking a look at my passive skill tree. I'm starting as a ranger, then I send it to a dead eye. So I'm gonna start with uh, by showing off my uh, ascendancy skill tree. So I ascended, I took a fast and deadly, ricochet, I also have fair shot. And when I ascend the fourth time, I'm going to take this one, endless uh, mutations, I think it's called. It give, will give me one ex additional projectile, which are very nice. For my actual normal skill tree, I uh, recommend going for the evasion in life in the beginning. It make it much more easy to level up and take fitness with a nice uh, attack speed note. Then I went for projectile damage and attack speed. If you want, you can go for the additional uh, projectile damage. But I choose to take uh, attack speed instead. I took ballistic mastery. I took a primal spirit to help out with mana. It also gave me strength and intelligence and I need some strength to this build. I have heart of oak for life regen and some, some uh, additional life. And also gave me a chance to not get stunned. So it's a pretty nice note. Then I went for Aspect of the Eagle, then I took both the attack speed and critical strike chance, and the bow damage. I took Aspect of the Lynx, then I went to take Survivalist, then I went down here to take uh, Heart Seeker, then Heavy Draw, and Deadly Draw. And then you have an option, you can take this uh, Yule, here, Yule Socket here. I have uh, this uh, unique Yule here, which uh, converts uh, Dexterity in the Radius into Strength instead, because I need some strength for my gear. You don't have to have this one, you can have a rare one, which gives uh, physical damage to your bow, attack speed, or life. Which would all be nice. Then I went down to take Harbalism, and a Lechery. Then I went down here to take it Thick Skin, King of the Hill, really, really nice uh, crit note. And I also have uh, some small amount of life and mana, Lich and Life Lich. When I'm leveling up more, I probably want to take Vitality Void, which are a really nice note. I have uh, taken uh, Golem's Blood, uh, Cloak and Chain, really nice uh, defensive note. I also have Iron Reflexes, which converts all evasion into armor instead. So I am a armor build, not an evasion build. Then I take Fury Bolt and Bravery. I also went up to the shadow area of the, of the tree. I took Blood Drinker, Nullification, Fangs of the Viper, Sniper, Will of Blades, Took a uh, coordination, a blood siphon, trickstery, ass an assassination. And if you want, you can take this crit chance and this one called cold hearted calculation. And that's pretty much my skill tree. I don't need any, uh, for example, uh, accuracy because I'm using Lioness Glare. And I'm gonna go over that in just a second when I show off my gear and what games I'm using. And the link to my uh, skill tree will be in the video description. So if you have, uh, if you want to know anything, you can take a look there for yourself later. So, let's take a look at the gear I'm using. First of all, I, the weapon I'm using, I'm using Linus Glare. A really cheap and really powerful bow. The only drawback with it, it is not a crit bow, so the crit chance is only 5%. But it, it is more than making up for that by sure physical damage and attack speed. It also have the unique effect that uh, your arrows can't miss, so your enemies can't uh, evade your arrows, so you don't need any accuracy to hit your enemies. It's a really powerful bow and very cheap. For a helmet, I use using uh, this helmet here. It's just an evasion helmet, but the evasion is converting to armor instead. It has a standard helmet, uh, another helmet you can use. You can use a helmet called Rat's Nest, which will give you both attack speed and crit chance, which will increase your damage quite a lot. But I'm just using the defensive options. And uh, this one gave me a good amount of uh, life and resistance, which are really nice. Moving on, I'm using this uh, amulet here. Nothing really special. It has some small amount of resistance, some life, 
So really nice physical the flat physical damage and crit chance. They're pretty nice amulet. And try to go for amulet which have um, adds physical damage and crit chance if you can life and resistance if you might need some. Using this quiver here, a flat physical damage quiver, which gave me uh, elemental damage, crit chance, crit multiplier actually, and uh, some life and resistance, which are really nice. I'm uh, using this uh, ring here again, and on your rings, try to get some flat physical damage on them and some life and resistance. Same thing with other ring, and I also have these uh, gloves here. They are pretty nice stats on them they have good life and they have good resistance and they even have some attack speed and if you can try to get a pair of gloves which have physical damage on them as well for a belt i'm using a rustic stash a op another option you can use instead of a rustic stash is to use megalodor's girdle which is pretty bad in the terms of uh, resistance but it increases your flasks and it also gives you a good amount of uh, physical damage to attacks and a nice chunk of strength and life. So it's a pretty good choice. And finally, I'm using these uh, boots here, which give me a good amount of movement speed. Try to get some boots with have 30% movement speed on them. Try to get some resistance and life and as high armor as possible. And finally, I'm using Calm's Heart as my armor, which... Uh, Give me some amount of uh, fire damage and some uh, and some uh, armor, but it also gave me a huge amount of uh, life, which are the main reason that I'm using it. So let's take a fast look at my uh, what games I'm using and uh, what games I'm using together with what. My main damage uh, skill it is a lightning arrow, as you can see, it does uh, twenty three thousand uh, DPS, which are pretty nice. And it is supported by greater multiple projectiles, weapon elemental damage, f uh, physical damage attack damage support, and faster attacks. And my single target skill, which are burning arrow. It is supported by uh, weapon elemental damage, faster attack support, and physical projectile attack damage support. For Auras, I'm using uh, Hatred, and let's see if we can find it now, there it is, Harold Flash. I also have, uh, I was using a Blink Arrow to get out of bad situations, which are not supported by anything. And I have a Blood Rage for more damage and more Lich. I have a Cause of Damage Taken, uh, taken setup, which are Cause of Damage Taken linked to Immortal Call. And that's pretty much all of the games I have. I have a uh, Herald of Ice, but I'm mostly leveling it up. So I'm gonna now show off this build in a map, so see you there in a second. This build is incredibly powerful against a large group of enemies, and that's what you want to use your uh, lightning arrow against. Against smaller groups of enemies, or particularly strong enemies, just use your uh, burning arrow against them. As you can see, this is probably one of the fastest builds you can have if you want to clear really, really quickly. Because you have a, such a high mobility and you will just wreck everything in just one shot. And you can use other skills with this build. You don't have to use uh, Lightning Arrow. You can use uh, something like uh, Tornado Shot. But uh, the reason I don't did, uh, using Tornado Shot is because, if you ask me, that skill is not that fun to use. But it works really well. As you can see, I just wrecking everything in just a second. It takes down bosses pretty easy and they have pretty, really good survivability. As you can see, you can even face tank the bosses and they will die quite quickly. And this is just a short demonstration of the build. If you see, want to see more gameplay, I'm going to have uh, some up in the near future. Anyway, I hope you guys like this short uh, build guide where I show off my build. And uh, tell me in the comments what you think about it or if I, it is something I missed. Anyway, thank you all for watching 